Hey guys, welcome back to the WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. Here on the channels, we're at the second week of Raw here in the next month after Night of Champions. PLE, we have moving on to the Money in the Bank, which is only a couple weeks away. We have two episodes of Raw left before then, and we'll see the match card as Finn Balor takes on Sami Zayn. Winner will get their name in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, Bianca Belair, the Raw Women's Champ, she's in action as she'll take on Caden Carter. Uh, Los Lotharios will take on the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Creed Brothers, as uh, they'll go head-to-head. -head. Another qualifier, Kofi Kingston takes on Karrion Cross, qualifier for the Men's Money in the Bank match. Another qualifying match, this one obviously for the women's, it's Gigi Dolan versus Zo Zoe Stark. Winner will be in the women's match. And the main event tonight, champion versus champion. Solo takes on Seth Rollins at one-on-one -on -one at the main event. Obviously, Roman Reigns will be in the corner of Solo. It'll be Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank for the Raw Championship. So tonight, it's champion versus champion with Roman Reigns. Watching on as he's going to watch his opponent, who attacked him last week after he won the number one contenders match against Randy Orton. Seth Rollins comes out and attacks Roman Reigns. So... He'll be looking to coach Solo through a win and uh, get the Raw Champion pinned right before Money in the Bank as we're going to move on to a Money in the Bank qualifier. So far, we do have a couple names. Uh, from Raw, we have Drew McIntyre, and from SmackDown, we have Carmelo Hayes. So only two names in, six still to go. We're going to find out two more tonight. Finn Balor takes on Sami Zayn right now and later in the night. Kofi Kingston's going to take on Karrion Cross, so should be a good one here tonight. As we're going to find out another woman's one as well. We'll talk about that when that match happens, but we already have two women from Raw and one woman from SmackDown. So three women total so far and only two men total, but this will make three after this match. As Sami Zayn on the attack to get things started here in this one, and it's all Sami Zayn so far. A couple of combos there, and he's working on the ground and pound there, on the face, on the ground. Sami Zayn, he um, hasn't had the best of luck so far in this universe mode, but he's looking to turn that around. Neither has Finn Balor. Finn Balor lost both of his matches so far. Well, actually, he, he won last week in a tag team match. Him and Damian Priest actually beat the Raw Tag Team Champs, the Creed Brothers, as they, uh, nice springboard DDT from Sami Zayn. But, uh, they basically tried to show J.D. McDonough and Dom Mysterio how to win a tag team match and uh, gave J.D. McDonough and Rey Mysterio, the uh, Dominic Mysterio, excuse me, uh, the match at Money in the Bank. So it'll be the, those two representing the Judgment Day versus the Creed Brothers for the Raw tag team titles. So that was Finn Balor's only win. He lost the very first episode of this universe mode to Roman Reigns in Money in the Bank qualifier. And then he also lost in the triple threat match last chance match on the uh, Raw before Night of Champions to try to get his name into, you know, last shot for him to get his name into that fatal four where he lost to his partner, Damian Priest. So, and Drew McIntyre was in that match as well. As a, Let's get back to the action, though. Sorry about that. Sami Zayn on the attack. Finn Balor needs to do something here, and he finally is. Nice stomp to the arm on the ground. Finn Balor looking to make his way back and let's see Sami Zayn went out for a breather but Finn Balor over the top rope and on to the outside nice move by Finn and this match goes to the outside like every good match does fireman carry from Finn on the outside but Sami Zayn is going to elbow his way out of this one and a nice bridge suplex there so it'll be a big win for either one of these guys get their name in that money in the bank match and all it takes is to be at the top of the ladder at the right time you literally ha don't have to do anything all match but if you can get at the top of the ladder at the right time you are in there nice counter from finn balor there so that's the thing with the money in the bank ladder match anyone can win it and it basically guarantees them only unless they're a complete idiot guarantees them a main title sh a main title victory pretty much i mean unless you're just done with it Cover from Finn Balor, one, but a quick kick out at Sami Zayn. And remember, just to remind you, if you haven't been watching, or if you haven't, you just forgot about it, that whoever does win the money in the bank, because it'll be four superstar. Oh, nice blue thunder bomb from Sami Zayn. Cover, one, two, kick out. Kick out from Finn Balor. Whoever does win the money in the bank, they can use it on Raw or SmackDown. It doesn't matter 
it, it doesn't matter which show they're on. They can use it on either one. It's the money in the bank. You can cash in anytime for either one of the main titles. They hold the same amount of weight. So it's only fair. Finn Balor looking for a shotgun drop kick into the corner. He may be looking for coup de gras. If he can get there. Not sure what he's doing. And there he goes, finally, to the top rope. I might have wasted too much time there. Coup de gras connects. Finn Balor. Is he going to money in the bank? One, two, and no kick out. Kick out from Sami Zayn. Nice kick out there. Thought the coup de gras was going to end it. But Sami Zayn trying to get back to his feet after a nice kick out. A nice counter. And let's see if he can get on the momentum. Yes, nice suplex. Nice exploder suplex. Sami Zayn has Finn Balor up. Be looking for something. In the corner he goes. Haluva kick coming. Haluva kick. Right to the face. Can Finn Balor kick out of this one? He's not close to the ropes. One, two, and three. It's over. Sami Zayn kicks out of a coup de gras. Connects with the Haluva kick. And wins it. And Sami Zayn is going to Money in the Bank. He'll be part of that Money in the Bank ladder match. He is the second member of Raw. So we have two out of four members from Raw confirmed. Drew McIntyre and now Sami Zayn will be in the match. McIntyre and Sami Zayn joined by Carmelo Hayes from SmackDown so far. That's three out of the eight confirmed. Nice victory for Sami Zayn. Well deserved. He was, uh, you know, that match was a quick one, but yeah, action all around from both competitors. Finishing move from both of them, but Sami Zayn just had the upper hand. Did a little bit more work. And he gets the win. So good win from Sammy. Let's see the other results tonight. The champ, Bianca Belair, picks up an easy win. Looks like this one turned into a single match. I uh, didn't realize there was a rivalry action on it. But the Creed brothers took home the win. Karrion Cross beat Kofi Kingston. So Karrion Cross is now in the Money in the Bank ladder match with Sami Zayn as well. So four members now confirmed. We got Drew McIntyre, Carmelo Hayes, Sami Zayn, and Karrion Cross. So we're halfway through with qualifying for the men's Money in the Bank match. And uh, we're about to be halfway through after this one. Gigi Dolan will take on Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark making her debut on this universe mode. She has not had a single match yet. So she's finally making her debut. We said we would debut more women as it, as it went along. And the reason for that too was because the women roster in this game is, is really not that great. So I've kind of been waiting for WWE 2K24 to get the more to get the, the roster out where the women who actually compete in real life out there. There's a lot of outdated women in this one right now. So you're going to see a couple more women make their debut, I'm sure, in the weeks to come and months to come as the new game's about to come out. And that should be exciting. Actually, next week, we should be on to WWE 2K24. Obviously, it'll be the same universe carried over, just in a new game. Springboard crossbody, but a kick out at one from Gigi Dolan. So yes, like we said, we got three members of the women's money in the bank so far. Last week, two women from Raw, Alba Fire and Meechin, qualified for the money in the bank. And on SmackDown, Indy Hartwell qualified. She beat Zelina. So it is Alba Fire, Meechin, and Indy Hartwell. They're the three. And then whoever wins this one will make four. Zoe Stark going to the top rope here. And she's telling Gigi Dolan to get up. What do we got here? It's nice. Oh, counter. By Gigi Dolan. Beautiful counter there. Gigi Dolan had some impressive wins so far uh, to start off the universe mode. As she works on Zoe Stark on the ground. Gigi Dolan actually, uh, she lost week one to Alba Fire. A nice springboard cross body again. She actually lost week one, but uh, she made up for it a couple weeks later. She had a nice win. Her and uh, JC Jane beat uh, Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. So that was an impressive win from GG. It's part of a tag team match, but uh, she, she has been uh, been putting the Raw on notice a little bit. She has not gone unnoticed, that's for sure. She's been putting on good matches. This is the first time on video we're going to see her. As she goes for cover, one, but a quick kick out from Zoe Stark. GG. <laughs> wondering why Zoe Stark kicked out of that one. You got to do a lot more than that, GG, to win this match. Kick to the midsection from Zoe Stark. Nice neck breaker right there as uh, Gigi will get a breather and she'll wisely get out of the way. But Zoe Stark with a nice Hurricane Rana on the outside. Stark and Gigi both up and coming women here. They could 
could see them win the Money in the Bank match. It's kind of like we talked about with the men's one. Whoever's there at the right time will win it. Doesn't really matter, you know, who's better than who on any given night. A nice counter from Gigi Dolan. Nice forearm right to the face. Gigi working on it, and it looks like, yes, she's got Black Widow locked in. Gigi Dolan with the Black Widow on Zoe Stark. Is Zoe Stark going to tap? No, she's going to get out of this one relatively quick, actually. She drops Gigi, but a Black Widow already, and that should definitely tire out Zoe. And Zoe has her up top, and a nice move from Zoe Stark right there. Cover. They count. One, but a quick kick out at one. A little surprise. I know, I know it's still kind of early in this match, but I'm, I am a little bit surprised. That was a kick out at one. Still a nice clothesline from Zoe. A little taunting going on, back and forth. Springboard crossbody again. Yes, she connects again. Third time. Cover this time. One, two, kick out at two. So it went from a one count to a deep two count just like that. So this match could go either way now if anyone can land their big move. Nice knee right to the face. And Gigi with a shot to the back. And uh, Gigi Dolan, oh, wait a minute. This might be Gigi Driver. Gigi Driver, the cover. Oh, no, rope break. Zoe Stark was right by the ropes. Oh, what a mistake from Gigi. She hit the Gigi Driver. But right on the ropes was Zoe Stark. That may have ended the match if uh, it was more central to the ring. Ready with the Black Widow, then the Gigi Driver. Zoe Stark may have been out of it. But she lives to fight at least a few more minutes here. He works on that arm. A nice uppercut in the corner as well. Very impressive. Both these ladies have been impressive. Not one person has been too dominant. They both look good at times. Both been getting beat up for sure. Gigi still on the upper hand. Nice counter from Zoe Stark. A nice kicks to the face. And I thought she might have been going for the blackout there, but no. And a nice kick. To the face, nice drop kick right there. And oh, wait a minute, Zoe Stark connects. That was back suplex, uh, face buster from Zoe Stark. One, two, and yeah, three. It's over. Gigi knocked out. What a move! I like that move. Back suplex, face buster. That looked vicious. And oh, yeah, that was a nice move. Boom, knee right to the face. And Zoe Stark on her debut of the universe mode picks up the win and she's going to Money in the Bank. She'll be in the women's Money in the Bank match. We are halfway through with the qualified women. We're almost there. We're getting close to Money in the Bank. PLE. All right, last but not least tonight, our main event, champion versus champion. Intercontinental champ Solo takes on the Raw champ Seth Rollins as... Solo, we're going to see him for the first time with his championship entrance. As you see, Roman Reigns just kind of standing back, letting him have his moment with the championship as he walks to his ring. As he walks to the ring, Solo can pick up a uh, win against the Raw champ. I mean, that always will give you a boost of confidence. That is for sure. Solo will have to defend his Intercontinental Championship at Money in the Bank. He's going to have to defend it against Santos Escobar. And, of course, Seth Rollins, he'll have to defend his Raw Championship against Roman Reigns. There will be uh, the only title on Raw that's not going to be on the line at Money in the Bank is Bianca Belair. That is because uh, she already has a title defense. None of the other Raw champions do. And because we have the two big Money in the Bank ladder matches, don't want to overpack the card. Just not needed for the Raw women's division this time around. So... We will see the Intercontinental Championship be defended like we just talked about, the Raw Championship and the Raw SmackDown Championship we talked about earlier as well. Uh, the Creed Brothers versus the Judgment Day for the tag titles. And here we go, champion versus champion. Off to a quick start already, Solo with the headbutt, but Seth Rollins right back to his feet and uh, has got Solo on the outside. And already this match is going to the outside, but Solo's right back in. And they lock up in the middle yet again. So Seth Rollins, impressive win in the Fatal 4-Way match at Night of Champions. It's the first time we've seen him since. Had a nice move there. The first time we've seen him since, it was a very impressive outing. He pretty much primarily worked on Damian Priest in the middle of the ring, while Roman Reigns and Randy Orton were too preoccupied outside the ring. 
So it was just a smart, smarter wrestler won that match as uh, Seth Rollins picked up a win on the curb stomp to Damian Priest. That led to, of course, Roman Reigns and Randy Orton going one-on-one last week for the number one contender spot. And Roman Reigns just barely beat him as he had to survive a couple RKO's. Got lucky with the rope break both times. And uh, he beat Randy Orton. But then Seth Rollins came out and attacked Roman Reigns to let him know right away he's not going down without a fight. And uh, that he is the champion of Raw for a reason. And see if he can beat the Intercontinental Champion tonight. I'm sure Roman Reigns will definitely... Do what he can to make sure he does not win, but we shall see. Chops in the corner from Solo. Three vicious ones. And now plants him on the ground. So, and Seth Rollins is going to have to go outside, but Solo going to the top rope. He's wasting no time. He's looking for something on the outside. The shoulder tackle, but no, he misses. Seth Rollins gets out of the way of that one. Wasn't the cleanest dodge ever, but Solo could not connect cleanly. Solo, look at the strength, just tossing Seth Rollins on the outside, slamming him down on the outside mat, and stomps to the chest of the champion. Solo looked very impressive in that Intercontinental Championship tournament. He looked impressive at Night of Champions against Austin Theory. And Santos Escobar has a tall order ahead of him. That is for sure. They went one-on-one in the Intercontinental Championship tournament, actually, in the semifinals. And uh, Santos Escobar lost that one. But he had his hand on the rope. Same referee that's in the ring right now. He had his hand on the rope. So not saying he would have won that match, but he shouldn't have lost it when he did. And he's going to rightfully get a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. And I'm glad glad it's against Solo so one of them can prove. And a nice flying headbutt from Solo off the top rope cover here. From Solo, one, two, and a kick out at two. Wow, Seth Rollins just barely kicked out of that one. And Solo is looking. Looks like maybe for a Samoan spike. He is looking for some, but Roman Reigns counters. Uh, excuse me, Seth Rollins counters and into a suplex. Seth Rollins dodged a bullet right there as it looked like Solo was going for a Samoan spike. And, oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins curb stop. Curb stomp to Solo. The cover. This might be it. Seth Rollins, one, two, and a kick out. A kick out at two from Solo. He hasn't taken enough damage. He he really hasn't. He had actually been on the upper hand most of this match. Curb stomp kind of just happened out of nowhere. Did not see that one coming. And Solo was able to kick out. Seth Rollins off the middle rope. What a nice move. And now it's all Seth Rollins. Momentum has shifted in this one. Going for a cover. One, two, and a kick out at two from Solo. Solo definitely getting tired now. Seth Rollins can land something here. We'll definitely have this one wrapped up. And a nice drop kick, but it wasn't the cleanest. And a nice headbutt from Solo here in the middle. Solo just standing tall. Looking impressive in this one. By the looks of it, I I mean... Santos Escobar really doesn't have a chance if he's playing this, if he's uh, fighting this good against Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins needs to go outside just to catch his breath. But Solo going to the top rope again. Diving shoulder tackle connects this time. High flying Samoan on the outside. Big guy Solo, and he can still fly with the best of them. Nice suplex on the outside from Seth Rollins. This one goes back to the outside again. And a nice punch to the face. On the outside, Seth Rollins feeling himself a little bit, feeling a little bit better about himself, but a nice clothesline from Solo. And back and forth we go in this match. So that's Seth Rollins back up, and this match looks like it'll finally get back in the ring. As uh, Solo with, oh, punch to the gut right there. Looked like he was winding up for a Samoan spike, but no. Seth Rollins, oh wait a minute, Seth Rollins, a Samoan spike, a Samoan spike on Solo, he stole his move, but look at Roman Reigns, look at Roman Reigns distracting the referee, this would be a count of four or five right now, and the ref finally sees the count, one, two, and a kick out at two, Roman Reigns screwing over Seth Rollins in this one, Seth Rollins is savage, he stole the move, 
of Solo, Samoan Spy Game. Wait a minute. One, two, but no, kick out. I can't believe he did the Samoan Spike on Solo. But Roman Reigns, not, I'm not going to let him win. Not in that disrespectful fashion. Roman Reigns, he saw that he stole Solo's move and said, no, no, no. i got to distract the referee on this one. And that's why Roman Reigns is here. Trying to just get in ahead of Seth Rollins. Getting ahead of Seth Rollins gets Solo a win for him to gain confidence. And for Seth Rollins to, to dip in confidence heading in to Money in the Bank. We're already at a five count on the outside, just like that. Six now. It's getting close, and they're going into the corner, so it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. Seven count. Seth Rollins comes in, and he's getting uh, distracted by Roman Reigns as these two are going to yell at each other. Can't wait till these two square off in the ring one on one. And then finally, Solo and back in the ring, and a nice Samoan drop. Pop up, Samoan drop. Going for the cover on Seth Rollins after the distraction. One. Two, a kick out at two. Kick out at two. Solo can't believe it. Seth was preoccupied with Roman Reigns there, and now that leads Solo to be on the attack. Solo made to look for a big move, but Roman, uh, Seth Rollins counters again. And another Samoan drop from Solo. It's Roman Reigns. Look at him jumping around out there. <laughs> what is he doing? Reigns just excited to see Seth Rollins get beat up. It's been a long match so far. It's been a good match. As up to the top goes Seth Rollins. Might be looking for a superplex here. And uh, it's going to be a high, to high Samoan drop. Nice move from Solo. He is definitely tiring out Seth Rollins. And a nice drop there. And a headbutt to the back of the head. Rollins taking a beating in this one. Definitely would have had this match won already if Roman Reigns wasn't here on the outside. And because of that, he has been taking some extra shots. So even if, and he counters and throws Solo outside the ring. Even if Seth Rollins wins this match, he's, he's taking a beating much more than he would normally. And this match on to the outside yet again. About the third or fourth time this match has been on the outside. It's been a good match. Nice spear from Solo. And a very good main event so far. Back and forth action. Finisher after finisher. Distraction for the referee. Who's going to win this champion versus champion bout? They're on the outside. Solo's going to undo the announce table, but it usually never gets done. Just, just messes up the nice little view that Michael Cole, Michael Cole Corey Graves had. And we're at a count of eight. Solo thought about winning this one by count out, but he's going to thought better, think better against it. He goes outside, resets his count, and he wants uh, he wants Seth Rollins. He wants to keep doing damage on Seth Rollins here. Let's see if this match will get in the ring anytime soon. Nice knee to the face, and Seth Rollins is busted open after that one. He has been down for a while now. It's been a while since Seth Rollins got a nice little move on, nice chain of moves on. As Solo is just a psychotic, headbutts himself on the ground, but doesn't even complain. Another count of six. They've been out for a while. And finally back in the ring. Another back in the ring. And oh, Solo's landing something. He's looking for a Samoan spike. Is he going to land this one? Samoan spike to Seth Rollins. That should do it. One, two, three. Solo, the Intercontinental Champ, beats the Raw Champ. I mean, he definitely had help, not going to lie. If Roman Reigns isn't at the corner, this match was over. With that stolen Samoan spike, it would have definitely been over. But uh, no nope, help from Roman Reigns. And then Solo gets a Samoan spike of his own to end this one. And he picks up a good win against Seth Rollins. And wait a minute, Roman Reigns has something to say as he's going to get involved from the outside. He's bringing a table in the ring. Roman Reigns telling the referee to get out of here. As he has brought a table into this ring, he's setting it up. He might be looking to spear Seth Rollins through this table. He's mad Seth Rollins embarrassed him last week, and he spears him through the table. Roman Reigns is ready for that Raw Championship. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. We'll see you on SmackDown in the next one.